it was a shock um, when they told me that they had a homicide in, inside the hospital. I didn't believe it initially. He said, your mother was murdered. I, I physically couldn't hold the phone. I remember it falling out of my hands and dropping to the ground. I, I walked up and I said, where's, where's my mom? He said, well, he said, I'm, I'm sorry, but she's, she's dead. On January 13th, 1998, a housekeeper making his rounds inside a large hospital outside Washington, D.C., found the body of a nurse and administrator tied up, half naked, and bloody inside her small office. It was a, uh, it was the worst night of my life. The mother of three was working late in an empty office. Who saw her last? I said I was the last one, last employee here to see her. Everyone else was gone. I thought. Investigators find an email Sherry sent to her boss three weeks before her death, an angry note about security issues at the hospital that came with an ominous prediction. I want to go on record and voice my fear that the next incident may involve a personal assault. Police discover Sherry Crandall has been raped. They recover DNA and fingerprints. But who could have done it? A co-worker, a patient, a complete stranger? Here we got a hospital full of people, and we know it's a male, but we still need to interview everybody. For more than two decades, the same detective has been trying to answer these questions and find Sherry's killer. Despite the DNA and fingerprints found at the scene, police have hit dead end after dead end. What would it mean to you if Detective Nelson were eventually able to close this case? If you could think of the most important thing that you've ever done in your life, this, this thing would surpass that by like 10 times. Now, after all these years, could police finally get the big break they've been looking for? There are all, always new advancements being made in DNA. Uh, genealogy is one of the newest things. Can genealogy finally solve Sherry's murder? This is more promising than anything that I've had in the last 22 years. I'm Paul Wagner, and this is Murder in a Safe Place. Season two of WTOP's American Nightmare series, coming mid-February. Subscribe today on Apple Podcasts, Podcast One, or wherever you get your favorite shows.